Lindsay Foster with T2P TV. We're here today talking with Jimmy Spithill at the Miami Oracle RC44 Cup. Thanks so much for being here today with us, Jimmy. No worries. Good to be here. So we just want to talk with you a little bit about the last America's Cup. There's an opinion out there that the technology and the wing sail are what won the America's Cup and it had less to do with your sailing ability. How would you respond to that? I think if you look at any America's Cup victory, the fastest boat has always won. Um, but I think getting that boat to the stage of being the fastest boat is really where the sailing team comes into play. And it's that collaboration with the designers and the engineers. You know, really, by the time you get to the race, the, the, the majority of the work has been done. And, you know, as a sailor, you have to get around the track, and in a boat like that, you have to get around the track without uh, tipping it over. Right. So you've been doing a lot more racing in, in monohulls, the RC44s. You just did the Louis Vuitton trophy, I believe, and doing fairly well with those, so, so disproving them. Which do you prefer racing, mono or multi-hulls? Um, I kind of like both of them. I think that's the beauty of our sport. It, there's so many different disciplines you can be involved in, whether it be ocean racing or America's Cup, Olympics, you know, one design. And there's not many sports that have that amount of variety. So for me, I just like, you know, mixing it up. I think it makes you a better sailor, being well-rounded. Um, and my goal's always been to be successful in a few different parts of the sport, not just specialise in one, one uh, you know, sort of part of it. So I, I enjoy all of it. And that brings me to my next question, which, do you prefer fleet racing or match racing? Um, well, I'd, I'd probably say I was really brought up in match racing and I really enjoyed that because everyone got the same boats so it really came down to the sailing team rather than you know the potentially an arms race but fleet racing is really enjoyable especially one design so my pick would be one design racing whether it be match racing or fleet racing. Let's talk a little bit about how you got started you know to be the youngest guy to ever win the America's Cup where where'd you where'd you get going in the sailing? Yeah it was really by luck. I was at a, a yachting awards in Australia and I was winning the youth award and a guy by the name of Sid Fisher was picking up the ocean racing award and I just went up to him afterwards and said, hey, I'd love to come and try some ocean racing. You know, and his boats were all called ragamuffins and um, anyway, so I, he said, hey, come down this Saturday. So I came down, steered the boat, we won the race and next thing you know, that led to a, a long sort of relationship with, with Sid. What was the tipping point in your career when you realized it was just not, not just racing for fun, but you were going to be a professional sailor and do it for the rest of your life? I think, uh, well, I always wanted to do it. Um, and I had a very, very good team of guys with me from day one. And one of them is still sailing with me, Joe and Newton, you know, who we used to race each other at a youth level. Now, we've been through all the campaigns together and we're, you know, here at this regatta again and with BMW Oracle. So, um, probably the One World Challenge campaign. Um, that was the real stepping stone where, um, you know, we had to step up and me personally to, to um, you know, on the racing. For our viewers, can you tell us what it is that you do when you're out on the water that makes you so good? Give us some tips. Just stay out of trouble. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Jimmy. It was great talking with you today. For T2P TV, I'm Lindsay Foster. Thanks for watching.